50 billion US dollars. This is how much shadow cash reportedly is being kept under the mattress by Ukrainians, head of the Parliamentary Tax Policy Committee Danilo Hetmanov says, meaning these funds do not appear in the declarations with not a penny of taxes paid to the budget. Thanks to one-time voluntary declaration of assets, Ukrainians will be able to not only legalize shadow cash, but also escape them from liability for violation of tax and currency legislation. Just collecting money to the state budget, this is not our purpose. The main objective, firstly, is to let people start everything over. Secondly, this is the way to provide additional economic growth for the country, thanks to the increase in investment activity. Otherwise, the shadow money goes down in value. This sense of a one-time declaration is to allow Ukrainians to whitewash their income and the existing property. This also works if a person hasn't paid tax, for example, for the acquisition of a land plot. A new Ukrainian can legalize their income, except for civil servants and those who have filed declarations since 2010. One is allowed to declare securities, currency values, movable and immovable estate, including construction in progress, land plots located in Ukraine and abroad. However, not every man to be honestly acquired property item is subject to declaration. Some of the possessions may evade declaration. For example, one or a couple of apartments that in total do not exceed 120 square meters. Or if you got a little household that is less than 240 square meters of area, it also does not subject to declaration. Also, a vehicle that costs less than 15,000 US dollars, the declaration is not required for it. 5% tax is paid for the deposit in Ukrainian bank. 9% tax is exempted for the assets kept in foreign currency or held in foreign banks. Payment for the income from the state bonds equals 2.5% level. The disclosure is meant to be voluntary, the state tax service states. One-time voluntary declaration is not of the tax purpose. We are not talking about the income. The main aim of the one-time voluntary declaration – this is the ability to change over to the honest and transparent financial relations between citizens. Zero declaration is not a Ukrainian invention. This is a true and successful worldwide proven record, tax officers state. The tax amnesty is set to start in Ukraine on the 1st of September. Reported by Nick Starkov, UATV News.